Okay, so how does art tie in with all of this? Art, healing, and consciousness. So um, how can we use artwork for healing in our homes, at work, and in hospitals? Uh, okay, well, there's actually been scientific research done about this, believe it or not. And um, science tells us that some original artwork can actually heal. Dr. Yvonne Clearwater, who's a senior research psych psychologist at NASA Ames Research Center, has done many studies about the healing effects of original artwork. And her studies show that there are some very specific things that you want to look for in artwork. Um, she's landscape or landscape-like images are preferred. Uh, views with greater depth that draw you into the painting are very healing and preferred over close-up views. Um, scenes resembling water are also very healing. And scenes with animals, buildings, or people are less suited for healing purposes. And this is from a book called The Power of Color, Creating Healthy Interior Spaces by Marbury and Zagon. Um, they've written a lot about color and uh, using it in, in living and workspaces. Um, the right kind of artwork can have a very calming effect on the psyche and a healing effect on the physical body. And all of the images that are showing up on the screen are mine. They actually, that one looks much better in person. I mean, th mm. even if you could see it on my screen, it's like, <laughs> The colors are all shifted. Anyway, um, healing artwork in hospitals. Uh, again, Marbury and Zagon. Research into mind-body medicine shows the less stress patients feel, the more likely they are to recover quickly from an illness. Um, anxiety over treatment, unfamiliarity with the treatment delivery process, and the clinical environment all contribute to stress. Heart rate recordings and questionnaires showed stress in a dental clinic was much lower on days when a large mural was hung at the back of a waiting room. Very simple thing to do. Um, ceiling mounted pictures shown to highly stressed pre-surgical patients on gurneys resulted in lower blood pressure. So they stuck ce pictures up on the ceiling so they're not just staring up at a white thing and thinking about their upcoming surgery. They can actually look at a, a very peaceful, calming image up there and it lowers their, lowers their blood pressure. Again, really easy stuff to do. Um, it has become common to use artwork to distract patients from their pain or stress. Color is energy, so the use of original artwork is always preferable over prints or posters. And again, I don't know if you've taken a look at any of the paintings over here. Um, compared to an image on a screen um, or a photograph, when you see a real painting, it just has so much more energy and life to it. I mean, you're getting all of that color energy, and um, it's it's hard to it's hard to Technology has not been developed in a way that we can get really true reproductions. I, I don't think it'll ever be to that point where you can get the, the, the energetic sense of the work. Um, so what the philosopher says, um, inner light and work. Christopher Alexander is an architect, scientist, visionary. Um, he, he wrote a pattern language which pretty much revolu re revolutionized computer programming and another book, The Luminous Ground, um, which is a four part uh, book and he talks all about um, finding our connection to humanity through art, architecture and um, anything that we as humans are using and what happened was computer computer programmers kind of latched onto this idea to his, his surprise and kind of absorbed it and used it for w this was when the internet was developing so they realized we really need to take these concepts and make uh, because if you remember back in the day you know dos based pro very blue screen white light oh, terrible like who wants to interact with that so <laughs> not very friendly or it certainly doesn't make you feel closer to humanity um, Anyway, so he, he has some things to say about inner light in our work. Uh, inner light is the color quality which arises as something comes to life and as it approaches and reveals the eye, which he's um, calling consciousness. Um, the eye is the core of all living matter. It's a real thing, something which exists in the world. Some artwork has inner light and it's always created from a visionary state, which he means is an elevated state of consciousness. Um, when looking at artwork, does it make you think that you are somehow looking at an, inner, an image of your inner self? Ask yourself, does it make you feel more wholesome in yourself while, you're, while, you, while you are looking at it? Um, he also says, looking at artwork with inner light allows you to get closer to the eye and higher levels of consciousness. Mm. So again, really easy stuff to do. 